Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, we have $400 up for grabs, compliments of Alliant Credit Union. Don't worry, it's a credit union, but yes, it is nationwide. And Susie Orman's not even involved this time. So in typical fashion, we break down the offer, requirements, terms, conditions, and eligibility. Everything you need to know to make this $400 become your $400. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, of course, direct offer link will be down below. Not a referral, simply get you where you need to go the fastest. Uh, we will talk about all of this. You're probably going to want to stay tuned because this is actually available, parts of it, to new and existing customers as well. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at it here. The offer on screen. Now, of course, we have to point out they're violating our rule of no happy people, but whatever. There's still $400 up for grabs, so we will uh, we'll forgive them for it. There are four steps to this one here. So what do you have to do first of all? Well, requirements, again, four steps. So open a savings account by March 31st. That would net you $100. So basically what you need to do is by the time April 30th rolls around, you'd have to have $1,000 in that account. So the way I would look at all these requirements because the dates are the same, but basically for the month of April, you want to have the required amount in the account. That's what I, I would say. So minimum average daily balance of $1,000 by April 30th. Number two, open a checking account. Again, same date ranges. You'd want a minimum average daily balance of $100 by April 30th. You could also open a uh, certificate, which is basically a CD. This time when you would need $1,000 by April 30th. And then you would also, if you wanted to, if you do all three of those, the fourth option is unlocked and you could go for it all and deposit $10,000 total across any of the accounts. Again, maintain that balance through April 30th. Uh, so really, you know, you, you would it'd be ten thousand dollars total. You could put it in any one of those. So you'd probably want to put it in the savings account. But that ten of that ten thousand dollars, it would account for. It would already include the thousand dollars in the CD if you did that thousand dollars in the uh, the savings already in the hundred dollars. So like it could be twenty one hundred dollars, and you just have to re deposit the remaining eighty nine hundred if you wanted to go for it. So that's what you need to do. Now, again, we will, uh, you know, we'll break that all down here. But we're actually we're going to talk about eligibility first, and then we'll take it all together because again, this is for new and existing customers, but it does get a little confusing potentially. So here you have it, eligibility. Again, doing it a little bit early, but I think it'll make sense. So first of all, again, this is nationwide with a five dollar donation to like a foster care uh, service. You can go through it during application if you need to. If not, Ally is in Chicago, uh, but it's still nationwide. So can't have had a checking account in the last six months. Now, current customers, this is where it gets interesting. So obviously, if you were new, then all four options are available to you. Current customers, you can still earn up to $300 in bonuses by completing steps two, three, and four. Um, you can qualify to earn a $100 bonus if the combined balance of your savings is checking account. Um, again, that, that $10,000, and there's the code. So basically, if you were an existing customer, you know, prior to January 18th, use the code, you'd be good to go. So, of course, step two, again, is the uh, the checking account. Step three is a certificate or the CD. And step four is the money. So the only one you couldn't get is the actual savings account. So why that gets interesting is because, you know, if you're an existing customer, you know, you'd already have a savings account. You could potentially already have a checking account. So I don't yet, I don't know if that means you need to open up a new checking account. You just need to have the balance added in. I really don't know the answer to that. I scrolled through a lot of the comments. There have been a lot of folks who've actually reached out and talked to the credit union about this. And, you know, in typical fashion, the, the, the customer service people don't fully have the answer. Now, I will say that, you know, if you look at the top of the promo page, it does say, you know, employees and, and folks who work with their existing organizations. I've seen multiple comments. Again, it's the Internet, right? from folks who say, hey, look, I talked to customer service and they said I would be eligible because I'm a member of this foster care, you know, donation thing. So that does make me, you know, eligible to to participate in it. So much so that I did apply for this. Again, I had an account at one point. I closed it. I did apply for this one uh, because I think it's worth it. Uh, but I was denied for checks, unfortunately. But I was going to go for it because, again, I think the opportunity cost is fairly low because really you're talking about tying up that much money that we'll just say 10 grand from, uh, let's just say, March 1st to April 30th, right? Or just basically all of April, honestly. I would say yes, all of April. You have to be enrolled by March 31st, basically. And then all of April, you'd want to have that. So for 10 grand, opportunity cost to get 400 or unfortunately you miss out. 
I think is fine, but I do think they will pay. I did try it myself so I could put you know my money or my time where my mouth is, unfortunately, but I just still think it's worth talking about for, for those folks. So there's a little bit of a confusion there if you're an existing customer. If you're a new customer, it's not a big deal. Go for at least all the first three and then you know you could do the fourth option as well. So that's why you put eligibility after that. But again, the requirements are pretty simple. There's no direct deposit. It's just you know making sure you have the appropriate amount of money in each account. Now, when we talk about fees, that is also another important piece of this because of the CD. So when we talk about fees here. Um, the savings account has no fees. The checking account has no fees. The CD, um, the certificate account is what they call it. The uh, the shortest term is 12 months. Now you can withdraw your money early um, if you wanted to after this. You don't have to tie up $1,000 in there uh, for the full year. So from their page, you would actually lose the dividends earned by an early withdrawal, which is not really that big of a deal. I don't think most of us are just here for the bonus anyways. Now, um, when I looked at it, at taping, their rate was about 4.5, I think, 4.3, 4.5. I'll put it on screen for you so it's current. It wasn't a terrible rate. So if you wanted to leave it over there, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But I'm going to guess most people find something better to do with $1,000. Other bonus, what have you. So there's, you know, I'm going to say there's no fees. Just if you want to do the CD, just understand it's not going to be locked up. And I probably would have pulled it out early anyways. I don't really care that much about the interest. The di that's what they mean by dividends, just the interest paid from that. So that's what I would do. Um, so overall, that is a line. I think it's pretty straightforward and to the point. The only issue, potential issue comes into play with new versus existing customers. But again, I'll link down to the doctor's post because for whatever reason, no one commented on our blog about this. I'm so hurt. I'm just kidding. But there's many comments in there. Again, it's their public comments of folks who are talking to customer service and posting their replies. So um, I still think it's worth doing. Again, I tried it. I just got kicked out for checks. So with that, let's take a look at the summary slide and bring us home on this one. So overall, you're going to want to go after Alliant Credit Union. It's a checking plus savings plus CD if you want all three. $400 payout is nationwide. Again, checking account needs 100 bucks, savings account needs 1000, CD needs 1000, 10k total across all accounts. Basically, I would say from March 31st to April 30th is the date you want to lock up that money. Uh, I would put the extra money in the savings account probably. I don't have the highest rates in the world, but it's better than nothing while you wait. I would not put it in the CD. So that's what I would do. Um, there are no fees. Again, you will give up the dividends if you pull the money out of the CD early, but that's fine. And then you're going to want to keep the account open uh, for 90 days total. So that is going to be Alliant Credit Union. Again, overall, I tried it myself. I just got kicked out, unfortunately. Uh, but if this one is too much for you or you're, you know you don't like the uncertainty, if you're an existing customer, then of course, check out ProfitableContent.com. We have a tons more of uh, easier bank bonuses, more straightforward bank bonuses for new existing customers. You know, credit unions, fintechs, neobanks, business, we got it all over there. So I will link that down below for you as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to look at Alliant and their $400 offer. You know, as I always say, since I can't get in, someone should avenge me and make their money your own money in my name. I still think it's worth going after. So if you do, let us know your experience down below, especially if you are an existing customer. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So of course, if you liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. So we're posting content just like this every week on how to make banks money you want money again uh, data points be much appreciated on this one and a uh, good hunting to you on it but again i think it should be fine anyways thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you very soon in the next one